Hello everybody and welcome to yet another episode of For Honor Hero School and today as you can see we are playing the Warden. Now you're probably wondering who's that next to me in that wonderful looking armor? That is no other than the notorious Fatal Fate, a Warden player with a lot of experience. Fatal, thank you so much for being here to teach me the class. Hello Clicker, thanks for having me. Uh, can I just say that out of all the warden players that are playing this game, there's like about 10,000 he could have chose from. Senpai chose me. And yes. I'm super proud of that. Yeah, it's like you were definitely on top of my naughty list. So, you know, I just had to have you in here. Now, uh, for the people who may not quite know uh, about you, could you please give us an overview of what is your experience with For Honor the game uh, and the warden, of course, and why exactly did you choose the warden over any of the other 11 available classes to main? So I've been a fan of the game since its first showing back in 2015 at E3. I have uh, been hugely involved with the community from, you know, being a uh, regular in the forums and the subreddits. And eventually I was able to participate in the very first pre-alpha of the game. And ever since then, I've been in almost every single test of the game, except for one. And ever since, like, I've just been playing the Warden because that was the first character that we were able to start off with. And ever since then, like, I just never changed because I just got so familiar with this character and I just kept sticking with him. And... Here we am now, just the game is out and I'm still playing the Warden. <laughs> so basically love at first sight scenario. Yeah, basically. I mean, he worked so well in the first test. I mean, we had another hero I won't talk about, but this was the hero that I just felt connected with everything I wanted to do in the game. Nice. So do you think uh, you're ready to show us your moves as the Warden? Absolutely. All right, let's jump right in. And once again, we are in the courtyard of the Hero School and us two knights are facing off. But while my warden is glowing, my actual warden gameplay isn't glowing at all, Fatal, so I need your help here. Can you give me uh, like an overview of the basic moveset of the warden? You know, kind of like the bread and butter moves that he has. Of course. So the first thing you're going to notice is that the warden's moveset is very basic. So he actually has nothing special. Uh, when his moves on their own, there's nothing like the other heroes who have specific uh, combos and everything. The Wardens are very predictable, so what makes it, his combos very good, what his moves it, I mean, what makes them very good is when you combine them. But we'll get to that in a second. So first I'm going to show you the top light attack, which is the fastest attack in the game. Okay. So that's the yep. fastest Warden attack. Yep, it's the fastest attack he has. Nice. And now he has a side attack. Side lights. You can also chain them into two hits. Okay. It also works uh, above, so you can change them in any direction. Mm -hmm. Now, so something interesting I want to show you is that if you, if I get you from a side light, I can actually get an unblockable second one, like this. Oh, all right. So just by pressing so, the light attack button again when the first one hits, right? That's right. So from the other. Oh, oops. sorry. Sorry about that. From the other side as well, just like that. Okay, I'll try it. Oh yeah, okay, so you can't block that second one at all, it's just guaranteed damage. No, I cannot. Nice. Now, I'm going to show you his heavy attacks, which, again, are very basic. Oh, top heavy, yeah. A pretty slow, right. but decent range. It's decent. A Warden has, um, his, he doesn't have uh, low range or far range, but he, he's right there in the middle, which makes him pretty decent for spacing. And now here's his side heavy. Oh, you can also combo yep. those into two hits. Nice. Yep, right, right there. What you just did was the Warden's Wrath, which is his uh, double heavy combos, which again goes in any direction, just like his heavy attack, his oh, okay. light attacks. So a side into a top. Nice. Okay. Yep, just like that. Um, and now the Warden's main combos are that he can actually chain his light attack into a heavy attack, and likewise. Uh, it's it's he can change his heavy attack into a heavy attack light attack into a heavy attack it's uh it's basically how his combos work they're very simple but execution is also simple as well which makes them pretty good for newbies okay. so here we are with a i'm gonna do a double light attack into a heavy attack for you oh yeah that's a that's a combo then because of the second light attack being unblockable you get that and then you just throw a heavy after that nice yep. let, me, let me try that Nice. Yep, they call this the Vanguard's Advance. So you 
don't have to do a double light from the side. You can even do it like this from a, uh, just like that. Oh, so any directions. So I can do like a like a top and then this and then. Oh, there we go. Okay, nice. Yep, you can chain it in any way you want. It's just the last attack has to be a heavy attack. It doesn't even have to be two light attacks, so it can be one light into a heavy from any oh. direction. Okay, so one light into a heavy. Okay. Just like that. So now I'm going to show you his uh, another move of his, which is if you're far away like that, I can run after you and get you with a rushing slash. Just like oh, that. Oh, that's a sprinting attack, isn't it? That's right. Let me do that. It closes distance very well. Oh, yeah, yeah. He really rushes forward, doesn't he? Yeah, it's very useful if your opponent is uh, at a distance. Like, they don't expect it. Oh, messed it out right there. Yeah, it's very fast as well. It is. Now, nice. his uh, next move is the shoulder bash. This is what makes the Warden an incredible hero and flexible against any other hero in the game. This move is what keeps him... Um, it, this is the move that allows him to use the same tactics against basically any hero and work well against them. Okay. So here it is. The shoulder bash, nice. Yep, the shoulder okay. bash. Okay. Well, we're going to go, go ahead into and detail. Use it against me. We're going to go into detail against uh, about the shoulder bash in another segment, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay. Definitely. And um, the shoulder bash can happen right after an attack or a dash. So I'm going to perform a light attack into a shoulder bash here. Oh, nice. Now it works from the side as well. Just like that. Oh, so I can do a double light into a shoulder bash. Nice. All right. That's right. Just a after a light attack, you can just jump right into it. It can even be put into a combo without a double light like this. Ah, as long as it's just a light attack, then I can uh, do the shoulder bash. That's right. And it cool. basically works from any direction when you do a dash or a dodge. So Nice. So does the Warden uh, have a cool zone attack as well? That's right. He has one of the best zone attack in the game, which is this right here. Oh, wow. Okay. That yep, was the zone attack? Fast. Yep, and it comes uh, from your left. That is... That is fast. Yeah, that's like a few frames right there. It's very yeah. hard to predict and very hard to see. Wow. Th that has a long long range as well, doesn't it? Like, you really go... It, like, rushes forwards with that. That's right. All right, so the basic movements of the Warden, like you said, they seem pretty simple, but definitely effective. But what, what really caught my eye was that top light attack that you did, because, I mean, it's really fast, but it also has this really weird sound, and it kind of glows, I don't know, like golden? Is there any secret about that attack? Yeah, so this top light attack actually has a special move called Crushing Counter-Strike. So basically what happens is if you try to attack me from the top, I can okay. counter it with my light attack. So try a heavy attack. That sounds painful, but I'll do it. Okay. Just like that. And it's an unblockable. So what this does is, is make the Warden's top stance his most important stance. This is the stance you always want to be in when you play the Warden, because this is the stance that allows you to do that very powerful counter-attack. Can you show me that one more time? I'll throw a heavy at you. Wow, okay, can I try that? And now, yeah, I'll let you do it. Oh, man, that feels powerful. That's great. And it works with light attacks as well, so go ahead and try to toss me that light. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. Okay, I'll try it too, but don't expect a miracle. Alright, I'm going now. Ah, a little too late. Ah, he's too fast. There we go! Third time's the yep. charm. Alright, wow. Okay, the timing is uh, not my thing yet, the, but uh, yeah. The timing is very important because if you time it too early, you can get punished. If you time it too yeah. late, it won't block, so you'll also get punished. So it you have to time it almost like you are parry. Okay, alright. So, as I was saying about the Warden's top stance, is that it's very important because this is the stance where he could do that counter-attack. Yeah. But it's also the stance where he can do his very fast zone attack without the opponent predicting it. So, right this. Oh, okay. Oh, yep. yeah, of Just course, I, because I can throw right the zone attack out of any stance, right? Out of any stance, it works, but it's all mostly important from the top because they just don't see it coming. Yeah. And something awesome about the Crushing Counter Strike is that you can bait opponents into it. So I'm going to do a heavy attack. You're yeah. going to try to parry that. Then I'm going to hit you with my Crushing Counter Strike. Okay. So, again, this sounds painful, but I'm I've, 
Okay, I've got it. Here it comes. Oh. Ah. Okay, one more time. What? Ah. Well, that was that was close. One one more. One more. Ah. <laughs> yeah, the timing, like you can see, the timing is not easy on this one. There we go. Okay, nice. Yeah, okay, I'll, like I'll, I'll, I'll try it as well. I'll try it as well. So I throw my heavy, I feint it, and then I try and crush encounter, right? That's right. Okay. Uh, wait, I I was supposed to throw the heavy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay. That feels really satisfying. Yep. Let's try it one more time. Okay. Nice. Yep, so you can really bait your opponent with that attack because and because it's so powerful, you can do some pretty significant damage to them if you keep it up. Now, would you say that it is best used against heavy attacks or do you actually try and get it off against like fast light attacks? It's important to get it off against any attack, but it's easier to bait when the opponent when you want to have your opponent try to power you. Right. But I now, can see it being really hard against say an Orochi attacking from the top. Oh yes, yeah, so you really have to time it correctly because, as I said before, too soon you get punished, too late you get punished as well. So you really have to predict it. Mm, okay. Now, something all you can also do with crushing counter strike is you can move it into a combo. So I'm going to perform it on you. So I'm going to have you do a heavy attack. Okay. Ah, oh, because it like counts that. as a light attack, right? That's right. So you can just change it right into a heavy attack or okay. I'm gonna show you another one all right I throw a heavy at you oh right you can put the shoulder bash right after it that's right yeah that makes sense okay let me try that so, yep oh there we go okay so as I said before, the war what makes the Warden good is that his moves set really combines. When you put them together, he becomes a very good hero because they gel together very nicely. Yeah, simple but strong, like you said, yeah. Yep, so if you can keep your Warden in a top stance at all time, learn to block the sides when you need to, but primarily keep it here to get the crushing counter strike, you should do pretty well. Okay, at this point, I really have to ask about one thing that really caught my eye and that's the warden shoulder bash because that looked just really cool and i can charge it and everything so are there like a lot of things that i can do with that absolutely the shoulder bash is the reason why the warden makes one the most flexible hero in the game it's also the reason why the warden can pretty much use the same tactics against any other hero so i'm going to show it off against you one more time right so that was out of so a wait. dash right so i do a forward dash and then yeah there we go Yep, or and it also works right after an attack, so I'm gonna do a quick attack on you. Oh, okay. Yep, after so, an light attack, that's right. Light attack? Nice, okay. Yep, it changed with any, so I do a double light attack and get the shoulder bash right going. Okay. Does it work when the light attack doesn't hit? It does, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It does, yep. Just it, You just have to perform one, uh, either a dodge or a light attack. Nice. So if I'm trying to make distance, Oh, I can okay. do it like that. So I can dodge nah. to the side and do it. And That's I right. can I can even dodge backwards and do it. Wow, okay. Yep, from any direction it works. Nice. Same with the light attacks. So the reason why this move is so good is because if you noticed, it's not a normal attack. You can't parry it, you can't block yeah. it, you just have to dodge it. And that's what makes it uh flexible against any other hero in the game. Okay. So I have now, to dodge it. Alright, okay. That's right. Now what makes it deadly is that once I get a chain going like this, I can keep looping it to do some deadly damage. Oh, because you're doing light attacks and the shoulder bash comes out after a light attack. That's right, it chains together. Oh, wow. Okay, let me... Oh, wow. Okay, I can just keep doing this until I run out of stamina. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Yep. And because the warden's uh, top stance has this the uh, quickest light attack, is I can if you can move your yeah sure, I can just start off by doing that and then move directly into light attacks. Oh man, okay. So cool. let's say you're doing an attack, I can dash to the side, get you at a top oh. light. Yep. And then get the chain going. Nice. Okay. Wait, I'll try that. So I 
Touch. Can you can you move your? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, 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 this and shoulder bash. Wow. Okay. All right. It's a very good countering maneuver. So as I said before, it's that this is another reason why you want to keep your stance on top at all time because even though your opponent, let's say, they can predict that you want to make an attack from the top, you can still get a shoulder bash to start attack from the sides. Hmm. Now, something I want to show you is that you don't always have to keep up the chain going with a light attack. You can also do this. Whoops, messed that up. Oh! Wait, how did you just do the gout break? I thought you were doing a shoulder bash. So what I did there was I did a soft feint, which means I can just press guard break during a shoulder bash to get it into a guard break. Ah. So with a soft feint, you mean you're not actually using the specific feint button to stop what you're doing. But you're using, nope. like you said, you're, you're just pressing guard break again during the shoulder bash. That's right. So the word in soft feint allows them to just move directly into a guard break right All after right. the shoulder bash. I'll and now this that. is this is very effective during a combo because you're going to so the only way to really uh, one of the best ways to really counter this chain is to dodge to the side. Okay. So I'm gonna let you try to do do that. Oh well, that's easy enough, I guess. I mean, once yep, you, you can know just that break it's the coming, chain like of that. <laughs> but. If a good warden knows you can know that, then they can get you with a guard break. Oh, and I can't tech out of that because I'm dodging. That's right. So it allows the warden to, you know, psych you out, really. Yeah, like you never know. If, is it, is it going to be a shoulder bash? Is it going to be a guard break? That's crazy. Okay. Now, something you can do with the shoulder bash to make distance besides uh, getting a chain going is you could actually hold it to perform a charge. Wow. Okay, so I just hold down the button. Yep, just hold the button and it knocks them back really far. Wow, okay. Now, the chain for this is you can actually still keep it chaining when you're doing this if you do double side lights. Uh, even if I, oh sorry, uh, even if I knock you that far away. No, oh sorry. I you can't. Side you light, can't yeah. do. It. Yeah, it does not work with the top light, but it does. Oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I, I knocked care. you back too far. <laughs> it works for me, but it. Um, maybe I charged maybe it too charging... much. Yeah, you're charging it too much, perhaps. Yeah, I charged it too much. I charged it all the way till it started automatically. All right. If you charge it all the way, it is good to knock your opponent off a ledge or to keep uh, them at distance, right. but. You do not generally want to do that in most situations. Nice, okay. It does pretty decent stamina damage as well, but it basically does as much as it costs you almost. Yep. I mean, you want to charge it to the point where you see your character glow red, but you don't want it to go too far. Oh, you don't want it and to now, automatically go, yeah. Yep. Okay. Now, something you can also do with it, besides the double light, is that you can do this. Oh, a zone attack. Right into a zone attack. That's right. Oh, I don't know what happened there. I'm sorry. I think I got stuck on a rock. Let's try that one more time. So, and then a zone attack. Oh, wow, that comes out immediately. Okay. That's right. So there's many ways to do get this chain going. You can uh, get a guard break. You can continue with a double light. Or you can do it into a zone attack. Okay. And now you can also do this with the shoulder bash, which is fainting it. So wait, you can wait, also what? do a hard feint with your shoulder bash. Oh, I literally just press the feint button. That's right, just press the feint button and then you can cancel it. So, so what this allows you to do during a chain... Sorry, let me get the chain going. Is... You can, um... Sorry, let me get it going again. <laughs> the muscle I memory. Keep doing the, yeah, muscle memory. Just keep doing the combos when you know, when you suspect that your opponent is good. You do that one combo that uh, you always try to do. So I'm gonna show it again. All right, let me oh. try one more time. Okay. One more time. There we go. All right. Yep. You can cancel it. Try to cancel it right into a heavy attack. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Let's see. Nice. 
And now what you saw there was that I fainted that heavy attack. And that's because we know that if I try to do a uh, chain with a heavy attack, you can just block it or parry it. But what happens if I faint it is that I can actually bait you into a parry with that during a chain. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was the heavy. So I can only get the light attacks in after a shoulder bash, right? I, I do not get a heavy in. The heavy can be blocked or parried. Yep, it can be blocked or parried. That's right. Now I'm going to show you just one more thing um, that I can also get you during a chain. I want you to keep your stance on top. Okay. And now I want you to try to uh, parry me when I get the chain going. Muscle uh, memory. Uh. Alright. Ah, oh, you just painted me, uh, you just uh, baited me into a parry there. Alright. Yeah, and it works with Crushing Counter Strike as well. Yeah, of course, yeah, oh man. Okay, that's pretty yep. crazy. So, what makes the warden very effective is that if you can keep your stance on top at all times and keep your chain going. He's very deadly against almost any hero in the game because basically it all works against any enemy. There's nothing, you, there's no tactics you have to change. You just got to do the same thing over and over because it works against anyone. Yeah, but you say it works against anyone. So, I mean, the way to get out of the infinite, how, how, how do I get out of the infinite if when I dodge it, you just got break? So something you can do is try to hit me with a light attack. Your fastest attack to try to break my chain. Which, so I'm gonna. Okay, which would be my top light attack for the ward. Oh yeah, I can get right. you out of that. Okay. Can I do it with a side? Uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, I still get hit, but I do knock you out of it, so you don't get the follow up. Okay. Yep. So if you play, let's say you're playing the peacekeeper or something, it, it's very effective. Another thing is that if you're playing someone like the Warlord or Conqueror who has a full stance, they can actually break your chain with that as well. The, the full stance blocks the shoulder bash? It blocks the upcoming attacks. Ah, right. So you get hit by the shoulder bash and then you would immediately do the full guard and it would block the follow-up attack so you couldn't do a shoulder bash again. That's right. Nice, okay. And even, let's say, I try to... Uh, mix into a guard break when you have full stance, it's still ineffective because they can counter guard break that. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, of course, because they can tech it because they didn't, they only did the uh, full stance. Now, what about uh, classes like, say, the Orochi or the Kensei that have a, uh, a, a side dodge attack? Because, you know, attacks override guard breaks. So would they just get out of the chain by dodging and doing a side attack? That's right. So the most effective way to fight these guys when you're doing the, trying to get this chain going is, as I said before, you can actually feint it to bait them. So oh. let's say I get the chain going, I can cancel it and then parry their side light attacks when they try to, you know, counter it. Ah, oh, that makes sense because they're going to go, oh, I'm going to dodge that. And then you just have your the indicator right there of that kind of slowish uh, dodge attack. Yep. So nice. it really makes the warden very flexible and handle almost any situation pretty well. So I'm going to show you a really secretive technique that you probably won't see any other wardens do against you. Okay. So you, that's right. So you're probably going to see it here first if you're watching. The Fatal Fate so, Special. That's right. So I'm going to get you into a chain and then I want to see if you can power me during it. All right. All right. I'll try. So it's a very good baiting technique. And it's actually quite simple, so it's why I haven't seen anyone else do it, I don't know, but it's very good. So okay. let's start. Oops, I was a bit slow there. Okay, one more time. Oh. Okay, I tried to parry you there and you god broke me. That's right. So let's try it one more time. Yeah. Ah, so you guard break me, so you throw a heavy, and you cancel the heavy into a guard break, thereby making me try to parry you, and you grab me during the parry windup. That's right, because wow. uh, good opponents know that if you they can block or parry those heavy attacks after a shield bash. Yeah. I mean, a shoulder bash, but 
you can actually just cancel that directly into a guard break to also psych them out. Wow, okay. So you do the infinite chain like this, and then... Oh wait, sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna try this now. So I get you into this, I do another light, I do this, then I throw this, and then... Ah, no. Okay, yeah, okay, this is the Fatal Fate special. I have to do this off camera for a couple hours. All right. All right, let me show you one more time how it works, all right? All right, so sure. So you're going to try to power me. All right. Oh, okay, yeah, like, he didn't even throw his animation at that point, because, I, like, I couldn't do it. Oh, yeah, you can see how my uh, warden lifts his sword up to try and do the... The heavy from the failed parry, and then you just grab me. Okay, that's crazy. Well, that's the Fatal Fate special. You only see that here in the For Honor Hero School. <laughs> All right. So, if, do you want to try it on me, or I'll give it one more try. But let's let's go. All right. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you got it on oh. me just like that. And now, <laughs> see, you if you do it fast enough, like I've done to you, like it. I, my animations won't even start, yeah. even though I'm trying to power it. Yeah, I saw that. So you that. did it right. Yep. I saw. Okay, I'll try it one more time, but that, that was a miracle, the first one. Ah, oh, see, there we go. Okay. Yeah, but okay, I can see definitely how that would ca catch someone off guard. If they're like, oh, he's throwing a heavy, I'm going to parry that, and suddenly they're guard broken, and, you know, you can do what you want with them. Yep. Wow. So now I'm just going to show you how to be defensive with Shota Bash. It's not always okay. an offensive move. You can actually be pretty defensive with it by uh, baiting your opponent. So we, you know you can cancel your your uh, Shota Bash. Yeah, with a hot feint, yeah. So your opponent gets confused when you know, you're just doodling around. But if they're being offensive, you can uh, counter them while you're doing it. So let's I see you try to uh, throw some heavies at me. Wait, whoa, okay, you hit me there, that was a little close. Yep, so if I can Wait, cancel whoa, it into what? a parry. Oh, you just cancel it into a parry? Yep, oh, so if wow, you keep it okay. going, they don't know what you're going to do. They don't know if you're going to launch it, or you can punish them while Jeez, you're doing it. okay. You can even uh, get them with the crushing counter-strike while you're just trying to okay. be evasive with it. Whoops. I wasn't doing it there, but... Just like that. Wow, okay. I take it this is more against heavy attacks though, right? Like light attacks. Can you parry yep. those? Or block those out of it? Yep, you can do it just as well with the light attacks. They're just a bit more difficult. Just like that. He says it's a bit more difficult and then just does it while talking. Alright, okay, yeah. See, this is why I got the Fatal Fate to show me the Warden. Because for this stuff, because this is blowing my mind. It also works with crushing counter strike if that if you get the right chance to um whoops. Yeah, okay, wow. Okay, even on a light attack. That is crazy. So you're using the shoulder bash to actually bait them because they're like, "Haha, he's using the shoulder bash from so far away. I'll just throw an attack." But then you just parry them. Yep. Crazy. They, okay. It's there's so many ways to mix up the shoulder bash and it just works against any hero you come up against and that's why the warden is one of the most flexible hero because his moves just work against anyone. I love that I can it, even charge it to almost full and then still faint it. Yep. It, and if they know you're baiting them, you can always just launch it anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, because they're like, ha ha ha, I'm not going to fall for the bait this time and then you just get hit by it. Uh, so, could you tell us a little bit about, this is something that I always ask for every class, because every class like has to use these mechanics, obviously, uh, guard breaks and uh, parries, especially like the follow-ups. Could you show us and tell us about, like, if I get a guard break as the Warden, what are my guaranteed follow-ups to that? What damage do I definitely get in? Uh, and when I do a parry, what do I... What should I do after a parry? I mean, usually I guess it's a guard break, but against, for example, classes like the Nobushi or the Valkyrie or stuff like that, they get thrown back way further, so your guard break can't reach them. What would I do against that? So for that last question, what you can do is either throw a top light attack or a zone attack, because a zone attack is very quick and it has very far reach. So oh, yeah, from does. all the way there, yep, from all the way over there, got you. almost got you with my zone attack there. 
Or a top light attack, you said. Yep, top light attack. Closest distance as well. As well. And it's just as quick. Well, almost as quick. It's not as quick as a zone attack, but it's about as quick. Right. So if I parry a normal... I'm, I'm just going to call them a normal class. Then, you know, I obviously go for the guaranteed guard break. But if I carry a longer range class like the Kensei, the Nobushi, the Valkyrie, the Lawbringer, I think the Shugoki counts as well. Um, I can't get that guaranteed guard break because they get thrown back too far. But I can do a guaranteed top light or I can do a guaranteed zone attack. That's right. Nice. All right. So, but let's say I do get that guard break. Uh, what do I do? What do I get as a guaranteed follow up to the Warden guard break? So if you get the guard break like this, you get a free side heavy attack. Oh, okay. Do I get a do I get a top heavy? Nope, that's that's too long. But if you come over here, uh, okay, and I knock you to a wall, I do get a top heavy because of the stun. Oh, okay. Can we try that? Yeah. Come here. Nice. Okay. You couldn't block However, that. I could not have blocked that. Okay. You you could try one more time just to see what happens. Okay. Oh, now you could block it. Okay, let me see. What, sorry. I'll show you again. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't get that. So, the, what you did wrong earlier was that you did the second uh, uh, top heavy. What that means is if I, if I knock you to a wall from another stance, I would have to spend time moving my uh, stick upwards. Oh, my sword so, upward. So wait, so the warden has two top heavy follow ups? That's right. So it changes the timing. So if you want to get a top heavy from slamming your opponent to a wall, you have to make sure your stick is already to top stance. Also, oh, even like before I grab you, I already have to be in the top stance. That's right. Oh. Okay. So if I grabbed you from the side, and attempt it, it's oh, wait, not, wait. just not going to work. Oh, wait. From me in the wall again? Because you notice, I'm changing my direction. Yeah, like you're actually doing a slower top attack. All right, okay. So if you want to get that guaranteed top heavy, then you have to throw them in a wall, and you already have to have your stance at top before you even grab them and throw them. That's right. All now, right. if you can come over here. Sure. Now, it's not always recommended to do a heavy attack after a guard break when you could already start that as a follow-up combo. Ah, uh, of course I could like use the guard break and start up a chain, yeah. And then I yep. could get that into a guaranteed side. Okay. That's right. Now it's it's because unless your opponent has one health bar left, then you want to do your um, a chain instead of a heavy. All right, so you've shown us all of the single very powerful tools of the Warden, like the shoulder bash and, the, you know, like some of the zone attack stuff, the crushing counter and so on. So how do you put all of that together and create some, like, advanced combos and mix-ups that you use when you, you know, when you fight experienced players? So guard breaks and zone attacks are very important for this. So... I've already taught you how to combine your chains with Shota Bash, how to move that into guard breaks and stuff. But now let me show you how you can do it more effectively by using zone attack. All right. So the basics for zone attack is that it comes from one direction, but it comes very quick. And you can stack your opponent out by starting your move from another direction and just like that, end up. Nice. Okay. From the other. Yep. So it's more effective from the top as well. Nice. Costs a lot of stamina, though. Yep, it does. Um, it's really recommended to not spam it, because it does take half of your stamina. And if it's blocked, I want you to try it on me. Uh, okay. I get a guaranteed guard break. Oh, yeah, I can't tech out of that. Nope, you can't at all. Wow. Uh, any hero can do it to you. and it, it works as well. They dodge and they get a guard break on you. And that's because the warden zone attack, while it's very quick and very deadly, it does leave them vulnerable because they have a very slow recovery time. Yeah, after getting blocked, I definitely see that. Now, it also works during combos like this. Oops, um, try it again. Ah, by fainting again, okay. Yep, so... Let me get you it. Ah, <laughs> there goes my stamina. <laughs> Out of stamina. <laughs> 
All right, let's do that one more time. But I can see where you're going with this. That was not a combo I intended, but it let's just show it just shows how flexible they all these maneuvers really work together. Nice. Yep, something like that. Like if you do your heavy attack from a different direction and then you just do the zone attack, yeah. Yeah, just like that. Go. Okay. It consumes a lot of your stamina though, so while it's one of the best uh openers, it does leave you vulnerable if your opponent can power it or if they manage to make you drain your stamina. So I take it I can also... I, I tried that just now, so... I can also do a shoulder bash, faint, faint it, and then uh, try and... well, try and do it into a zone attack. Can't pull it off right now. There you go. See, let the, pro let the professionals do it. So you can do yeah, a shoulder so... bash, faint, into a zone attack as well. That's right. So nice. as I uh, showed us before, where you can really be defensive with your uh, shoulder bash by baiting and uh, dodging your opponent, you can also psych them with a zone attack while you're doing it. Wow. I, I could have got you with a uh, guard break there, but I didn't. But um, yeah, so that really shows you like how amazing his zone attack really is. And it's... It's something you don't want to forget when you're playing the Warden, because he got his shoulder bash, he got his crushing counter strike, but the zone attack is really the move that puts it together. That is definitely something. And now, something else you can do that does not drain really drain your stamina is also you trying to take advantage of your guard breaks. So, you can really put it into a combo together, so like this. You can really, because this, because the last attack really has to start off with a heavy attack, you can um, really bait them with your uh, 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 feint into a guard break. So, Are you trying to uh, guard break? Yes. Feint that to a guard break? Yeah, I, I, sorry, I kind of messed that up a little bit. Okay, sorry, one more time. Okay, come on. Ah, give me a sec. Still not used to these paddles on this thing. All right. Okay. Yeah. So throwing the guard breaks in after feints. All right. Yep. So you can do a zone attack, a guard break. There's a lot of mix up you can really do together. And now, if you put it together with shoulder bash, it's even better. Ah, right. Because you keep getting those uh, guaranteed sides as well. And you just That's went. Right. As, you just went from the shoulder bash. You feinted it into a guard break. Then got a side heavy guaranteed. Can't do anything against that. Then a zone attack right after that. Wow, okay. You really have to watch your stamina consumption, but it does allow you to um, punish your opponent by a lot if you can manage to get them with it. Oh, yeah, I tried to block that one, and then it, like you immediately threw out the zone attack, and it just got me. Yep, so I'm just showing off like potentially what it'll look like if you manage to make the warden work. Oh, so really, crazy. it's the key element is fainting. Faint your shoulder bash, faint your combos, your heavy attack. Like everything that the warden has, if you put them together well, you can really become very deadly. And it works against almost every hero you fight against because the warden is very straightforward. And the thing is that if, despite being straightforward, what he has works really well together. You don't need to change your tactics or anything, you just gotta make sure uh, you're do you're playing his moveset correctly, which shoulder bash cancels and everything. You know, if you're even if you're fighting like a Nubushi uh, who's keeping a distance, you know, you just gotta utilize your shoulder bash and your zone attack or your top light. If you're uh, let's say you're fighting someone who's defensive, then again shoulder bash works, and then you can still get a combo off that. And that right. basically covers up just about everything I can teach you about the warden. Uh, so, at this point, you said you've showed us pretty much everything that there is about the Warden. So, we've seen his attacks, we've seen how you use them, all the kinds of mix-ups and so on. And he seems really, really strong, honestly. I mean, as you said, he's kind of simple in many of his things, but he's got a lot of nuance to him in a way, how you use those simple tools to put them all together. But here's the big thing, and I always have to ask this uh, about every class. 
what are his positive and his negative class matchups if he fights against any of the 11 other classes? Could you maybe start with saying what you believe are like the positive matchups for the Warden? Well, that's the thing is that there's almost none of those just because the Warden works against almost every hero you go up against because by nature of his movesets. Uh, I mean, he has a decent range against long range uh, opponents. Like, let's say if you parry the Nabushi, as we spoke about, you can get a free zone attack and or a top light attack, and you could follow that up with a shoulder bash. If you uh, fight a defensive opponent, like, let's say the Warlord, who can, I guess, abuse his full stance, his full block stance, you can get a shoulder bash on him or a guard break and punish him with a uh, side heavy. There's really, it works almost, there's only a few things that the other guys can do to the Warden that I could say punish him. But for the most part, he just works very well against almost any matchup. There's no, there's almost no negative uh, matchup against the Warden. That I, I, that I don't think. Now, some of the stuff that the other heroes can use against the Warden. Um, let's say, let's have the Orochi, save the Orochi for example. The Orochi... If they, he deflects your zone attack, he can actually get a full hurricane blast on you just because the recovery time for the zone attack is very long. But he has so to that, deflect the zone attack, which is this fast. Yeah, this fast. He has to deflect it. Okay. So that's that's I guess that's one thing you can say. It's uh they can possibly do against you. But that's the thing, is that the Orochi also has a focus on top stance, just like the Warden. However, the Warden can punish them with it, because the Warden has the crushing Counter-Strike. Oh yeah, of course. So you would and... say that basically the Warden, because all of his tools are kind of so useful, he doesn't... Like, he kind of can play against everybody. He pretty much can. Like, I, There's almost no hero... Well, there actually isn't a hero that can have a negative... Um, impact on the warden then let's let, let me ask about then like your personal feeling so what is the number one class where you feel that you as the warden are the strongest where you feel like i am going to be in control of this fight the orochi really because yeah. yep because the, the despite uh being able to knock off a huge amount of health by getting a hurricane blast if they deflect it it's still one of the fastest attacks in the game yeah and it's hard to see coming if I chain it into a combo and everything, you know? Yeah. And, like I said before, most of the Orochi's attacks are focused on uh, attacking from the the upper stance. Because they have the double overhead, the, um, the double heavies, while the Warden can just punish all of those with the crushing counter-strike. That makes sense. And then, I mean, you said you don't really believe that there are negative matchups, but... What is the number one class that kind of gives you the most problems? I would say it's pros probably the Peacekeeper. All right. Just because if she gets too close, her speed is very... Like, it's not just... The thing is that matching up against a Peacekeeper, it's not just the Warden who has difficulties. It's basically every class at that point because she has the fastest attacks in the game from her zone attack to her uh, light attacks. Her light attacks are actually faster than the Warden's top light believe it or not yeah so but the, the thing is unlike all their heroes the warden also has is probably the best one to fight her just because he has the distance with his top light and his zone attack right so you would say that she is pretty much the hardest matchup for him but out of all the matchups the warden is probably the more favorable against the peacekeeper that's right all right okay and here we are once again at the end of this episode of the Hero School, this time with the Warden, and of course with the wonderful Fatal Fate. Fatal, thank you so very, very much for taking so much time out of your day to record this video with you with me. I was uh, really looking forward to this because the Warden is a class that's really close to my heart, and it did not disappoint. I learned so much from you. Uh, thank you so, so much for taking your time for this. Yeah, it was my pleasure, man. Like, it's training people how to play the warden is very important because i think a lot of people who starting off the game should be playing the warden just because of how flexible this hero is this hero can go against almost any situations and come off on top just because of how their moveset allows them to handle it all 
Yeah, I definitely agree with that. So do you have any wise words that you maybe want to share with any, you know, people who are new and are picking up the warden for the first time or even people who are a bit experienced with him? Yeah, learn the three key elements to the warden. Your zone attack, your shoulder bash, and your top stance. Always keep the top stance. Nice. But with these final words, where you say, always keep the top stance, I think you're not going to come out on top this time, because you have fallen into my trap, and now you are useless to me! What? No! <laughs> Goodbye!